In addition to Merit's legacy of products of pipe, valves, fittings, and flanges, Merit also carries an offering of press fittings in carbon, copper, and stainless, known as carbon press, copper press, and stainless press. Merit's copper press fittings and valves, known as copper press, are an innovative solution for copper installations. Copper press fittings are the most comprehensive offering for your copper press applications with over 350 SKUs. Prior to installing any press connections to its pipe, always remember your PPE, hard hat, safety glasses, safety vest, gloves, and safety shoes should be worn. Additionally, be sure to maintain safe distances as the press system is joined. It is very important to follow these installation instructions. The first step to installing a copper press system is to inspect the tubing for imperfections and cut the tubing. Cut the tubing at right angles using displacement type cutter or fine tooth steel saw to avoid jagged edges or scratching the pipe surface. When cutting tubing, it must be cut all the way through. Never partially cut the copper tubing and break it off as it could cause leakage. The next step is to deburr the tubing on both the inside and outside diameter with a file hand deburrer, or an electrical pipe deburrer to remove the debris and prevent damage to the sealing element. Once the tubing has been deburred, lightly clean the end of the tubing with a piece of sand cloth or similar material to ensure a smooth, debris-free, and oil-free surface. Following deburring, check the copper press fitting and or valve. In addition to checking the tubing for any imperfections, check the fitting and or valve to ensure that it is free of debris and that the sealing element is present and appropriate for the application. If the sealing element is lifted from its bead pocket, gently push it back into place, being sure not to transfer dirt or debris to the sealing surface. When checking the seal for the correct fit, do not use oil and lubricants. In addition to PPE, you will need a tape measure and a permanent marker. With the permanent marker, mark the proper insertion depth at the appropriate distance from the end of the tubing as indicated in the copper press insertion depth chart. Note, improper insertion depth may result in an improper seal. Carefully insert the tubing into the fitting and or valve to the prescribed insertion depth. The insertion depth mark must be visible after the tubing is inserted into the fitting and or valve to identify any movement that may occur before or after the pressing. In the instance that a fitting in or valve does not have a stop, the fitting or valve must be centered between the tubing ends. However, the minimum tubing insertion depth must be maintained and marked. It is important to note that if the tubing is roughly or carelessly inserted into the press fitting, it may cause damage to the sealing element. The following steps are for small diameter copper press. After you have inserted the fitting or valve, verify that the tool and jaw being used for the application are the appropriate size for the fitting using a recommended press tool from the copper press tooling table. Before pressing the connection, the tool and jaws must be checked for any debris and removed if visible. Once inspected, insert the approved jaw into the pressing tool and push in. Hold the pin until it locks in place. Next, open the jaws and center them on the raised portion at the fitting ends of the copper press fitting before beginning the press. Then squeeze the trigger until the tool has engaged the sealing element or viper, visual indicator press ring. Do not release the trigger until the pressing action is complete. An incomplete press may reduce the pressure retention capabilities of the joint and lead to subsequent system leakage. Once the tool has completed a full pressing cycle, release the trigger and remove the jaw from the fitting. After the jaw is removed from the fitting, the viper, visual indicator press ring, will break off, indicating a complete press. Note that the Viper may require you to remove it by hand. This does not mean that the connection was not successful. The following steps are for large diameter copper press. After you have inserted the fitting or valve, verify that the tool, ring, and jaw being used for the application are the appropriate size for the fitting using a recommended press tool from the copper press tooling table. Before pressing the connection, the tools and jaws must be checked for any debris and removed if visible. Once inspected, Insert the approved jaw into the pressing tool and push in. Hold the pin until it locks in place. Open the jaw on the press tool and close the appropriate location on the ring. Next, open the ring and visually check the insertion depth using the mark on the tubing. Place the press ring onto the fitting. Be sure to align it with the raised grip ring portion of the fitting. To begin the pressing process, 
Position the tool rings on the raised portion at the fitting ends, then squeeze until the trigger has engaged the sealing element. The press tool will complete a cycle, then stop. Do not release the trigger until the pressing action is complete. An incomplete press may reduce the pressure retention capabilities of the joint and lead to subsequent system leakage. Once the tool has completed a full pressing cycle, release the trigger and remove the ring from the fitting. Once the ring is removed from the fitting, remove the application label sticker to complete the process. For both small and large diameter copper press, unpressed connections can be identified prior to pressurization by the presence of the viper on the bead outer diameter. The copper press sealing element is designed to physically leak while unpressed when the system is pressurized with air at 45 PSI max or water at 85 PSI max or per local codes, giving redundant assurance of installation integrity. For more information about our copper press offering, please visit our website or contact our team today.